distributing uh, pledge slips for the medical program. So, especially our guest, I think the main we have this for you. We will have another program for our students next next week. <laughs> Okay, on behalf of the Adventist University of the Philippines, I would like to welcome all of you. It's going to be a special Sabbath. Well, actually, the weekend celebrations had started last night. Uh, this is a weekend of the inauguration of the Doctor of Medicine program or our College of Medicine for the Adventist University of the Philippines. And... That's the name of the event. But the focus that we have this weekend is about medical ministry or being a medical missionary. So that's our focus for this weekend. But first, let me begin this welcome by acknowledging the presence of new students and with their parents or sponsors. When I was shaking hands this morning at the entrance, I met several of the parents. May I request our new students and parents, guardians, sponsors to please stand up so that our students can welcome you and our faculty and staff can welcome you. May I request the parents, please stand up. New students, please remain standing. Oh, let's shake hands with them and welcome them to the campus. Our new students with their parents. When I was uh, welcoming our guest this morning, I'm not sure who was more excited, the parent or the student. <laughs> this morning, dear friends, brothers and sisters, is a day of happiness and gratitude as well as a day of reflection. Because for the past 30 years, our school, our leaders, peoples from many, many places had been praying and waiting and watching. I don't know what other biblical word can I use beyond praying, waiting, and watching. Maybe another word I would like to add is, they murmured not. We have been praying, excited that for many years the Lord will bless us and give us an opportunity to train medical or missionary physicians for the work of the Lord, not just in our institutions, but also as they serve in various capacities, both in the government and private practice, to serve as missionaries of the Lord, as physicians. And the past three years had been basically very, very busy. Four years had been basically very, very busy for us. And the Lord has blessed our effort. This coming Monday, this coming Monday, the first class will begin, uh, the, the inaugural class will begin their first class. What time is it, Dr. Mendoza? Seven, Dr. Mendoza here? 7.30 in the morning, if I'm not mistaken, the day after inauguration. May we request the members of the inaugural class with their parents to please stand up. Are they here? And we would like to shake hands with them and welcome them. All students, inaugural students, the first students of our me medical program with their parents, will you please stand up? <coughs> There they are. Shall we give them? Shall we welcome them and congratulate them for being a part of our uh, community? Thank you so much. Those students can only begin classes because God's people on different levels had been working together under the direction of the Holy Spirit to make things happen. This is not the work of one man, two, three, four. This is the result of, God, of the work of God's people. So this morning, I would like to begin by welcoming as well as acknowledging their roles as well. 
in making the opening of the medical school possible. I'd like to mention the presence of the education and health leaders of the General Conference because the two departments is on the vanguard. They are actually working together in the survey committee as well as in the, I'm sorry, I forget the exact technical term. We have a committee that oversees medical education for the World Church. My request, Dr. Lisa Birdsley Hardy, to please stand up. And Dr. Frank, too, uh, please stand up. They are from the Education Department of the General Conference. Dr. Landless is now there in the anteroom. He will be our speaker for divine worship. He's the director of the Health Ministries Department of the World Church. We also have Dr. Roger Hadley representing Loma Linda University, the General Conference Institution. They are a partner. Remember many times we welcome their faculty and staff to help us and train us here. Dr. Hadley, will you please stand up? Thank you so much for the contribution of Loma Linda to making this possible. We are honored by your presence. He's so busy, he arrived early this morning, and he'll be leaving soon after the white coat ceremony. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, in spite of such a very, very quick trip to be here. We also have leaders of the Southern Asia Pacific Division of the General Conference. Young people, brothers and sisters, in our midst is the recently elected president of our division, Pastor Leonardo Asoy and his wife. He's, he was here participating in the Sabbath School. Thank you so much. Pastor Carpe Carpena will be joining us as part of the program. Pastor Gulfan will be joining us tomorrow. Oh, this afternoon. We're sorry, uh, Pastor uh, Mr. Ferrer will not be here and the secretary. They all had been part Dr. Domingo, they have other appointments, but SSD had been a part. In fact, let me tell loudly a secret. They will be subsidizing our program for the next few years. Thank you so much, Pastor Asoy, for your commitment. When he was president of the South, South Philippine Union, he was, his union gave the biggest contribution to the medical school. Thank you so much, Pastor Asoy. So we have a person who is in personally committed to the work that we uh, have. We also have leaders of other fields. Central Luzon Conference is our home conference. Our pres the president is not here. But Mrs. Mangiliman, the wife of our conference president, is here. Thank you for representing uh, Pastor uh, Mangiliman. I hope I did not miss any other SSD, but I think uh, leaders who are here. We also have brothers and sisters, representatives coming from different institutions who supported the dream of starting a medical school. Let me read to you in alphabetical order the leaders that I saw, the institutions whose leaders I saw this morning. We have the president of Adventist Medical Center, Bacolod, Dr. Gayares and wife. Will you please stand up? They're here. Dr. Gayaris was the one who taught Sabbath school there this morning, and Dr. Joy is here. We have also leaders from Adventist Medical Center Manila. They are here. I, Dr. Raja Guk, Guk is here, and other staff also of the Medical Center are here. Thank you. I also saw leaders from, was it Palawan? I saw officers of um, the Palawan Medical Center. I saw them this morning. Can you please stand up? Uh, Joy Har Ay, hindi na pala Hardines. <laughs> I saw them uh, this morning. Thank you so much. And also, as the main movers, and they will take off, they're the ones leading out in making it happen, we are happy to present some of our faculty of the College of Medicine. I saw many of them here. Will you please stand up so we could welcome you. Faculty of the College of Medicine, Dr. Santa Lucia, Dr. Flores, Dr. Conchada. Okay, thank you, Dr. Carbajal, Dr. Cocos. I'm sure many more will be coming. I saw. Ay, hindi tumayo si... Anyway, welcome. Okay, we would like to welcome you 
um, this morning. And although they are not here with us as often as our faculty or as other leaders, our alumni from all over the world had been a major supporter in making this dream come true, and we would like to welcome them and tell them also thank you for making it happen. This morning, friends, what an honor it is for the university to have in our midst three presidents of AWESNA. Imagine that. Dr. Miguel and his wife, Dr. Baginguito, um, at Tibioli is not here, but the family, uh, I will mention the son later, but Dr. Baginguito is here, and Dr. Bangloy and Mrs. Bangloy are here. May I request you to stand as well as the officers of AWESNA. I see many of you. Uh, AWESNA, representing AWESNA. They are, uh, they are our alumni from western side of the United States. Thank you. Thank you so much. We also have alumni from the eastern side of the United States. Dr. Kines, the president of ISNAC, are here. And also from their territory. Also his uh, siblings. I think the sisters are here. We welcome you. Yes. And then also from ISNAC territory, Dr. Elmalu Roda. Oh, there she is. Do we have some more from the eastern side, ISNAC, who are here? We would like to welcome you. And then we also have leaders from our alumni association. Dr. Rajagukuk was our president, for president when they gave a sizable amount for the building. May I request Dr. Rajagook Gok Abdul to please stand up? Thank you so much. And the wife too, Dr. Rapantanko. Thank you so much for, for coming. And you know what? We have a lot of people who are not officers of alumni, but their parents, their friends, their relatives, they all contributed to making this project happen, and we would like to welcome them. Dr. Edmond Baginguito and your family, will you please rise? Thank you so much for your presence. We have the Laos. Uh, Dr. and Dr. Lau and their son, will you please stand up? Thank you for gracing our occasion. Who else? I saw several uh, of our... Oh, Dr. Charles, will you please stand up? He is a very, very committed person. He's just a quiet type. I saw him this morning carrying the stuff for the bell choir because not only his financial support, but his encouragement. We want to thank you, doctor, for your commitment to Adventist uh, education. So we would like to thank. May I request all our donors from 500 to 50 million, <laughs> 500 pesos to 50 million, to please stand up. We would like you to be seen by our students so that our students and faculty can say thank you. Will you please stand up? All our donors from 500 pesos to 50 million, will you please stand up? And dear students, can you approach our donors and say thank you? Thank you. Oh, can you approach them and say thank you? Come on, let's stand up. Stand up. Our faculty and staff, can you welcome our guests and say thank you for making this Possible. Ayaw yata mag thank you. <laughs> thank you na daw. Okay. Uh, we thank the Lord for all of this. As we continue the fundraising, sometimes I struggle with the human side of fundraising and the spiritual side of fundraising. Are we going to make the human side dominant? Meaning, we attract donors because we will, we will put their names in there. We will all do that. But the university has decided that instead of making the, ma uh, let's say, human glory and honor the major reason for our fundraising, we will allow the Holy Spirit to lead people who give from the bottom of their hearts. And we have prayed hard. The time of fundraising has also been the time of 
challenge for the university because at the same time, there were other issues that have undermined our, our fundraising campaign. And yet, the Lord has blessed. So I can say to you, brothers and sisters, that we have men and women who gave to the medical school project because they believe this project is the Lord's work. And to them, it is not a matter of benevolence or honor, but it's a matter of faith that since the Lord has blessed them, they contribute to this project of faith. So thank you so much again, and we are so honored by your presence. Now to our community, we would like to continue to... Dr. Olarte, a member of our faculty, welcome. <laughs> He's a member of our faculty too. Um, we would like to uh, remind you and invite you to the festivities and the services, to the services that we have. This afternoon, 2 o'clock, we will have a program in the alumni hall. So don't forget to come. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock will be the inauguration and the white coat ceremony, which likewise will be held in the alumni hall hall. So don't forget to come. Now, let me take this opportunity, I already began talking about it, that this program or this project had been a project of faith. Those of you who were here last night heard the sharing during the panel. After the panel, I was reflecting, is this project uh, based on blindness, meaning it was so dark in spite of the darkness, we went ahead. I don't think so. I would like to characterize this project as, how will we call it now? Again, I will use the word, it is by faith. The Lord gave us enough indications, the support of the world church, providential leadings, finding the right people, getting the permit, etc., and with that, with those indications sufficient enough, in spite of the fact that we did not understand everything, we went forward and the Lord has led. There is another aspect of this project that although we will begin classes by Monday, it remains to be finished. And we have set the target that we will finish this aspect of the project within a year's time. That is, we will finish raising funds for the building in time for our centennial, February 2017. This morning, we would like to make a special appeal. It was mentioned last night, but uh, it was mentioned last night, but maybe some of you were not here. So I think we distributed the pledges. May I request Dr. Birdsley to come forward? She will speak a little bit how important is this project for the World Church. I'd like to extend a special appeal to each one of you to contribute to this AUP SSD College of Medicine. I know some of you did not come prepared today to give, so I'm inviting you to make a pledge today. And I'm also speaking to the students. Students, you can be part of this as well. Maybe you can only give 20 pesos, and maybe that's all that you can make a pledge for. But let us, everyone, contribute to AUP's College of Medicine. Let us say, looking back on this day, I was there at the inauguration of the College of Medicine. I was part of it. Even if I'm not a medical student, I was part of what made the dream come true. Every one of you students, you parents who are visiting, maybe your children are coming here for a different course of study, but be part of this dream. I'd like to make an especial appeal, and I already talked to Dr. Bangloy, Dr. Kines, and the rest of you who are coming from afar, first, thank you for your support of your alma mater of AUP. But go back and make a special appeal to your colleagues to support this project financially, but also with prayers. Also to find individuals who can come here and teach and be part of the College of Medicine. 
Dr. Landless and I spoke last night, and I, I asked Dr. Landless if he can match what I would like to be able to give from my department. We have a small endowment fund. And he's agreed to match that amount, but he said, don't start another medical school in this quinquennium. But then he laughed. I sent an email to my colleagues last night, and I said, you have an opportunity to make a pledge, even though you cannot be here today. And by morning time, I had received pledges of $1,100 from some of my colleagues, just from one email. So you can send emails, you personally, every one of us, let us give to this project. Let us support the establishment of the College of Medicine financially. And at the end, I hope we can get a report of what our, what our offering is for this special Sabbath. And maybe tomorrow we can even extend that for some people who did not have a part. But let us, everyone, support this project. I know, Dr. Bungalow, you said when you go back, you're going to be speaking with the alumni to make a special effort to support this. Thank you, each one. Let's join hands in supporting the College of Medicine. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, giving is important. The, um, the most important thing beyond the amount is the spirit in which they, we give. Remember, those of us who were here for a long time ago, we raised this church. We didn't have enough money. I graduated in this building when we just have columns and roof, 1982. Every year, we had a peso parade, three, four times a year, 10 pesos, 20 pesos. We made sacrifices as students. But as a student, if I give 100 pesos, 200 pesos per semester, that means 200 pesos per semester, that means 40 pesos a month. If we add up and all of the students give, it will be really a big part in finishing our project. Yes, that had been our approach, offering-based, giving as the Lord blesses us. So we will now, I think we have appointed people to pass around the bags. Do you have the pledges? Anybody needs a pledge form? Please raise your hand. And our ushers, oh, there are, we need pledge forms here. Our deacons, deaconesses will distribute. Uh, Brother Rodel, you have the pledge form. Anybody needs a pledge form? Please raise your hand. We need pledge forms there. Please uh, raise your hands here. They, uh, Okay, please raise your hands. If you need a pledge form, thank you so much. Mahirap ito, siya nang magbibigay, pinapataas pa ang kamay. Thank you so much. Shall we bow our heads before, uh, to thank the Lord for His goodness? Okay, let's... Uh, so don't forget to come this afternoon at uh, 2 p.m., the Alumni Hall, and then at 8 o'clock p.m., Alumni Hall. You know, that's the main reason why we name this hall Alumni Hall. Uh, we cannot name it College of Medicine because... It's being occupied also by the Department of uh, Medical Laboratory Science, which doesn't belong to the College of Medicine. But the main floors are uh, College of Medicine. And we thank the Lord that because of His providence, we are, the lower ground will now be used by our Medical Laboratory Science Department starting this semester. Come see it tomorrow during the inauguration. Shall we bow our heads as we thank the Lord for His goodness? Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for blessing the university. Through the leadership of the General Conference, our division, our board, we want to thank you for, bless, for this blessing. We want to thank you for giving us committed men and women who will serve as our faculty, as our administrators in this college. We want to thank you for the support of our deans, of our academic council, of our finance committees, of the entire university. It meant that every unit of the university had to make sacrifices so that this new baby would be born. And we want to thank you for all of the sacrifices. Oh Lord, as we gather the offerings today and the pledges, may you bless those who pledge and may you bless those 
who are setting aside a little amount week after week, month after month, the widow's might, may you bless their efforts and honor their faithfulness to you.